Good evening, everybody. As you can see, I have uh, two balloons and my balloon bump, which, again, I'm not going to use, but it's there for everybody to get a reference of what the 260 balloon bump looks like. Okay, we're going to use a red and we're going to use a black uh, 260. Uh, this is going to be the uh, ladybug or turtle, depending on the colors you use. Um, quick, simple design. We'll blow our black one up. You don't really have to go all crazy on this. I leave the five uh, fingers off the end like normal. Uh, you'll probably want a pair of scissors for this one. Um, I do a balloon break and I'll show that to you momentarily. Okay, we're gonna go about uh, three fingers on the bubble and we're gonna go with a smaller bubble, um, which is about half the size. Okay, and by touching this over and then Pulling the knot through, we have what looks like the shape of our head because one bubble is bigger than the other. It gives that kind of lip to our design. Okay, um, this next part is um, uses bubble chains. So we're going to make a set of five bubbles and they'll all be about the same size. So it's going to be one, two, three. four, five. And as you can see, I held on with my, my um, pinky to the main bubble to keep those from all coming apart. Because as long as you don't let go of your balloon, the design, the, the chain, if you twisted it right, should not come apart. Okay, now we're gonna do the lock twist right here with the set of five. Okay, now, the the third bubble in the collection, either direction, is going to be an ear twist. Um, lightly pull out on your on your balloon in order to get that. Okay, we're going to take the black balloon and we're going to just deflate it. You're just going to rip the end out of it. Um, by having a little air in your balloon and you putting it between your fingers, you can rip it right off nice and easy. Okay, we're going to let this air out. And um, with all designs, I always tie a knot. The reason I tie knots is just in case somehow it comes undone, hopefully not, that your air does not come out of your balloon. Okay? And we want to keep this on the balloon because I'm going to show you a neat little trick that makes this design a favorite among little kids. Okay? So we'll just pull that through, tuck it nice and tight. Okay, now we're going to just take up our, our take our red one, and we're just going to blow it up. <laughs> it don't even have to be halfway, because you're not going to use a lot of it, and you're going to end up breaking it again. Okay, nice, quick, simple. Okay. Basically, this is called a tie-on, um, where we're merging two colors. Just take the nozzle, wrap it right around the neck of your balloon, and then tuck it through the. Um, head bubble okay now um, basically all we're going to do with the red one is we're going to run it back and forth um, decide how much loop you want on the top and we're just going to we rolled it right around the ear twist on the end and we're going to take it right back and we're going to roll it again um, most of the time, two is good on a um, on the um, on the ladybug, or you can do three. I like to do three on all mine. It just gives it a little more body. Um, but on the turtle, for sure, three ladybug two it works just fine. Okay. So as you can see, the design. Now we're just gonna break off this balloon, and as I said before, by having air in the balloon. See, I did not deflate the balloon between my fingers. It's still got air in there, and you just pull it apart. It is a lot simpler to do than people make it out to be. Um, I've seen people who try to rip it and try to rip it and try to rip it, and it just doesn't happen. But it's only because they've totally deflated the balloon between their fingers. The more air you have between it, the easier it is for it to break. Okay? So, now that we have our ladybug, we're going to take this piece that we cap, and we're just going to 
extend it. We want to pull it almost to where the very end of the balloon is because uh, you don't want it too tight around the kid's hands. Um, so that it makes a bracelet. And great for little kids so they can't lose their balloon. And it usually works out that this band is not too tight. And always ask the child if it's too tight. If it's too tight and they still want one, just use the other piece of scrap. You got plenty of balloon to do it. Okay? But that is our ladybug. Nice simple design. Five bubble with the ear twist, with the two bubble, one is bigger than the other, and then the three bubbles just looped back and forth on the tie-in. Okay? Thanks for watching the video.